Hey guys, my name is Patrick Lyons. I'm an online fitness coach and I was able to double my testosterone levels and I'm going to tell you exactly how I did it. First, the thing I want to say is that I only know this because I got my testosterone levels checked. You can't really know whether your testosterone levels are low, medium, or high or where they fall along the spectrum unless you get them checked. I've partnered with a company called Let's Get Checked and this is exactly how I was able to know what my levels were in the first place. So if you listen to everything I have to say here and you decide that you wanna get your levels checked, you can use my code LIONS20 on the Let's Get Checked website using my unique link in the description below. So with that, I'm gonna go into exactly how I did it. The first important thing to note is that I did unfortunately start with low testosterone levels. They weren't low by a whole lot. I was just around 240 nanograms per deciliter and 259 nanograms per deciliter is the cutoff mark for low testosterone levels. And the reason for this is because I had been in a calorie deficit for such a long time that it just kind of plummeted my testosterone levels. And the reason for this was because this happened at the beginning of the coronavirus pandemic or, you know, right there in the middle. I was only planning to cut for about three months and then I was going to be doing photo shoots and vacations and all these things that I wanted to be as lean as possible for. But given that the coronavirus pandemic was a thing, it just kept getting pushed out more and more and more. So I ended up staying in calorie deficit for about 21 weeks straight, the longest I have personally ever cut without having a period of maintenance or bulk. And what this meant is that I was essentially starving my body of nutrients that it needed in favor of being lean and aesthetic. And I know that this is a real thing in life. There are going to be times where you want to look your best and that's totally okay. But for me, that meant that my testosterone levels unfortunately dipped. They probably didn't dip for a super long period of time to below like the, uh, the normal range, but it did happen. And so I need to mention that. But the other thing is I had some other factors that were not fully optimized. I was living in an apartment by myself with a roommate, but still like on my own as an adult for one of the first times in my life outside of college. And because of this, I found myself eating unhealthy processed foods to fit my macros. Like, yes, I was still eating the right macro molecule ratios, but I wasn't getting great micronutrients or great specific types of fats within my diet. Um, and so what this meant is that I was having, again, a lot of processed foods, which has first been shown directly to cause testosterone levels to go down. So what I mean is if you're having a lot of processed foods as opposed to a lot of whole foods, you can essentially tank your hormone levels just through the fact that you're not eating high quality food. So that's point number one. Point number two is that in an effort to be healthy, I had changed my diet such that I was consuming salmon seven days per week. Every single day of the week, I was having salmon. And salmon is a great source of healthy omega-3 fatty acids. However, there is something known as the PS ratio. The PS ratio is something that is the ratio of your polyunsaturated fats, which omega-3 uh, is an example of, and your saturated fats. And you don't want that PS ratio to go above one meaning that you don't want to be having so many polyunsaturated fats that it like skews the balance out of whack. And because I was having salmon every single day, I likely was. I was having literally too many polyunsaturated fats in the form of omega-3 fatty acids. And so I changed my omega-3 intake from seven days per week down to about two days per week. And that greatly helped my personal PS ratio. Just to give you specific numbers of ratios based on the scientific literature on this subject, somewhere between 0.15 and 0.6 for the PS ratio has been shown to be the optimal level of um, fat intake. By contrast, ratios of 1.2 to 1.3, meaning that you have greatly more polyunsaturated fats than saturated fats, has unfortunately been shown to decrease testosterone levels. So overall, you want to be in that 0.15 to 0.6 ratio. And for me, that worked out to having salmon two to three days per week and then having flax seeds every morning. Flax seeds and chia seeds are another great source of plant-based omega-3 fatty acids. Um, and so by having that amount and having just my normal dietary intake otherwise um, with meats that also have saturated fat, I was able to balance out to where I needed to be. And so then, of course, after that 21-week period of being in a calorie deficit, I finally switched to a lean bulk and what I mean by that is that I was having a small calorie surplus in my diet that allowed me to gain weight at a very moderate rate. And when I say I was gaining very moderately, I genuinely do mean it. I was gaining around a pound per month. And that means that I was in a very small calorie deficit, but very intentional and controlled, and it allowed me to gain weight over time. 
And generally speaking, when you're in a calorie surplus, you're giving your body more than what it needs and hopefully have all the nutrients, both macro and micro, that it needs so that I could allow my hormone levels to get to a better spot. Additionally, my resistance training workouts improved because I now had a greater intake of energy sources, carbs and fat. And so my resistance training improved. I was able to push even more weight, stimulate a greater number of muscle fibers. And generally speaking, when you were able to stimulate a greater number of muscle fibers, you're able to increase your overall muscle protein synthesis response and then hopefully build muscle and then hopefully increase testosterone levels. So I know I just said a lot, but it's important to emphasize that like all of those things were necessary in order to produce the change that I had. So effectively, I was able to double my testosterone levels from making a change to the specific intake of fats that I was having by increasing my calorie intake and by resistance training harder than I ever had before. And that led my testosterone levels to increase from 240 nanograms per deciliter to 482 nanograms per deciliter. And that happened over the course of about a year's time according to the tests that I got, but I didn't have enough tests in between to know like exactly when it happened. If I had to guess, I don't think it actually took a full year for me to double my levels. It probably was more like four or five months, um, but it does take time to balance it out. This is all to say, if you find yourself in a prolonged period of calorie deficit and you feel that your energy levels are low or your gym workouts are suffering, you have low sex drive, um, things like that, then you might have low testosterone levels. If any of those are the case, getting your testosterone levels checked could be very meaningful for you. Again, you can use my unique link in the description below. Use code LIONS20, you can get 20% off your purchase on the site. Uh, you don't just have to get testosterone checked, you can get many other things checked. I recommend getting vitamin D levels checked because vitamin D is essential for your body's immunity and overall functioning, uh, allows you to build strength because your bones need vitamin D in order to gain strength. So. Um, that could have been a factor for me as well, simply because I was living in Seattle, it was the winter months, and so I just wasn't getting a ton of vitamin D until I started supplementing, but again, I didn't know that until uh, I got my levels checked. So yeah, that's how I doubled my testosterone levels in a year or less. Hopefully this is valuable information for you. I'm happy to go into more details into any of these subjects. If you have more questions, please comment them below, um, and I can either address them there, or you can DM me on Instagram, at Patrick Lyons, and happy to talk with you there. Whatever the case, thank you for watching. Hopefully this was meaningful to you, and I'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>